been my and is my goal to make this county a place that people want to live. That is not only young people to stay, go to school and come back, but people that after they have uh, moved off, if they've had a job, wants to come back and settle and build. And luckily we are having some of this uh, success. It's also my goal to attract businesses. And I'm sure this is what you'll hear from all of us. Uh, that the county will finish, uh, the county that will furnish jobs to all our citizens. And what we've achieved since I've been taking office, we, uh, since I've been in office, we've been able to improve uh, living conditions by having great improved housing. Uh, we have one present now. Uh, we're willing to uh, also work to bring people in as far as giving uh, rates to uh, businesses. And we're working to keep our taxes down low. Uh, and I look forward to uh, answering any questions that this uh, may have. Y'all may have tonight. Thank you, Mr. Kendall. Next is Barbara Niver Shaw. Ms. Shaw. Good evening. Uh, thanks to the countywide for hosting this debate. Uh, my name is Barbara Niver Shaw, and I'm a candidate for county judge on the Democratic ticket. And one of the most important things that we can do here is get out and vote. We've had many men and women not come back from the war. They lost their lives, so we can keep that right. So the one thing that I ask that you do is vote. My hope is you vote for me, but please exercise your rights. I'm a lifelong resident of Carnes County. I have lived here all my life. Um, my mom is Ella Jean Shaw T. Niver. My dad is the late Marcel A. Niver. I'm the youngest of five children. I have one sister named Charlotte and three brothers named Bud, Don, and Glenn. I have a Bachelor of Science degree in Interdisciplinary Studies and a Master's degree in Psychology. My work experience is when I graduated from college with my undergraduate degree, I went to work as a parole officer and with programs of parole at BRG in the criminal justice system. I worked with inmates doing parole review and I taught classes to help them re-enter society. I taught basic mental health, anger management, and drug and alcohol classes. And upon completion of that, I went to work with protective services. I work with both the child and adult divisions. I've been in many, many homes in this county, and uh, I am no stranger to the courtroom with this experience. Um, my husband and I also started a small vacuum service business with Silent Partners. That business eventually sold and now belongs to Basic Energy Services. My hope and my, uh, for the county is to get things going in a different direction. Uh, we have a, I have a lot of friends, we all have young children, and we hear, well, we can't wait till our kids get up and they can get out of here and get jobs. My goal is to stop that. Ms. Shaw, thank you. <coughs> Next, Mr. Gail Tennant. Thank you, Dr. Kim. Uh, my name is Gail Tennant. I know many of you here, and I've been in this room many, many times before. And um, over the last uh, 20 years, my wife and I were raised two children who grew up and debated in this room, and played band <laughs> in this room, and graduated from Carn City High School, uh, just outside. So I, I've been around here for 30 some odd years. I'm a lawyer and uh, have practiced all over the state of Texas. And, uh, couldn't have been talked, couldn't have been roped and dragged into running for mayor, uh, county judge, or any other position, except that I see that the county is on a precipice. It's on a financial cliff, just about to fall. They've got obligations to build a $6 million building, or $3.5 three million building, and they've only got $2 million in the bank. I wonder what that means. The auditor told them what it meant, but they wouldn't listen. There's some other forces at work here. I think there are other problems at work here. They've announced they had grants, but they didn't tell you that those grants had a co-payment of $300,000. We're not getting the full shake. We weren't getting it from the newspaper. And it is the job of the county judge to see that transparency is the issue at those hearings. We don't mumble and go back behind the doors and write it down. That's a violation of the Texas Open Meetings Act. It's a violation of the trust 
that the county should have. And that's the reason I'm here is to turn this thing around. Thank you very much. Mr. Tennant, thank you. Next, Mr. Utley. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Bert Utley. I've lived in Carnes County for 35 years. And I think I have three distinct different things that make me different from me, the Democratic candidates on this stage. First of all, and one thing I'm very proud of, I'm a United States Marine Corps Vietnam vet. I was a sergeant in the Marine Corps. I led troops in combat. I made tough decisions, and I'm very capable of making them now. Secondly, I've got my bachelor's, I've got my master's, I've been to law school at Texas Tech. I've also been a legal stenographer, I've been a teacher, I've been a coach, I've been a principal in this community, I've been a school board president. I have a very degree of experiences that I think make me uniquely qualified. I've got, unfortunate to say, 42 years of work experience. And third, I'm a successful businessman. In 1975, when I came to Carnes County, and by the way, I love Carnes County, I bought my first ranch. I borrowed money from one of the gentlemen here that was a loan officer. I borrowed money for the cattle. And I've made it work. In 30 some odd years, I built that from 24 registered cows to at one time the third largest registered operation in the nation. I also have a real estate investment corporation. I can make business work, and we need a businessman in Carnes County. I think I'm the only one that's really Announce the platform. I've got a political platform. Reduce the tax burden. In 07, we had the seventh highest overall tax rate in the state of Texas. Stop deficit spending. We have a half a million dollar deficit this year. Improve the county road and jail system. It's been neglected and it does not work. Open and responsive government. A $3.6 million annex that you did not get the right to vote on. I want this county to be a county where your child is safe and not burdened by taxes that we created. My daughter is one who was raised right here in this county. Very proud of her tonight. She's here. <clears throat> she's an assistant attorney general in the environmental division in Austin. Uh, she's one of the products of Carnes County. Thank you very much.